everyone, I am Carissa from Adventures of Carissa and Derek. Um, and I am here to talk about um, my sleep system that I just used on my Katahdin trip. Um, so we just got back from a trip to Katahdin, which for those of you who don't know is the tallest mountain in Maine um, and is also very remote. Um, and in the winter, all the access roads are closed. Um, so to hike Katahdin, even though it was only like four miles up and four miles down, we had to hike about 60 miles into the base. Um, so we did it in four days, um, two days to get in, and then one day out uh, and one day of hiking. Um, so we were camping for three nights in the winter. Um, and for those of you who don't know, like in New England in the winter, there's a lot of, it's like cold and there's a lot of snow. Um, and they probably had like well over five feet of snow there. Um, so it was definitely pretty chilly. Um, and we um, were sleeping in lean tubes. Um, so those are like three sided structures with a roof, um, but then they're open on one side. Um, and so if you're anything like me, um, sleep is super important. And if I don't get enough sleep, then I am super grumpy and I am miserable and you don't want to be around me. So getting enough sleep is super important. Um, and typically in the summer, I am a hammock camper. I actually sleep really well in a hammock. Um, but in the winter, it's a lot more challenging because of the cold air under you. You actually get a lot colder. Um, so um, I had to sleep in the lean-to, not in a hammock. Um, so I just want to take a moment to kind of like show you what I did for my sleep system um, and how well it worked. Um, so to start, I ha started with this Outdoor Research Alpine Ascent Bivy. Um, and so a bivy is like very similar to a sleeping bag. However, it is like made out of a tent material. Um, so it is waterproof, wind resistant, all of those things. Um, but it's for just one person. Um, so you set this up and then you can slide in your sleeping pad, your sleeping bag, um, and all those things. Okay, so that was kind of my outside shell, you could call it. Um, and then next I have this Nemo Switchback um, foam insulated sleeping pad. Um, so this was really great because it is a really good solid insulating layer from um, the cold ground, um, or in this case, the bottom of the lean-to, which was pretty cold. Um, so yeah, so this was really great. Um, kept me comfortable and warm. And then on top of that, um, since I do like to sleep, comfort is important. Um, I use an REI um, insulated air pad. Um, and this air pad is super comfortable. It's really easy to inflate. I really like it. Um, however, due to the um, cold weather and I think the moisture, because um, we are in New England, the weather is like the air is pretty moist. Um, two out of the three nights, my air pad deflated. Um, so, and that was the case for like all of us that were sleeping with air pads. Um, so I like, I don't think it was anything too REI. I just think it was the nature of the elements that we were experiencing and also the, the nature of an air pad itself. Uh, but luckily I had the foam pad, which obviously doesn't deflate. Um, so I stayed warm, whereas some of my friends did not because they did not have that insulating layer on top uh, or underneath, I guess. So highly recommend one of each instead of just an air pad. Um, or even just a foam pad would have been fine, um, but I like comfort, so yeah. And then lastly, and probably most importantly, was my sleeping bag. Um, so this is also a Nemo. Um, it is a Sonic, it is a Sonic negative 20 degree bag um, with 800 um, uh, down. Um, and this was seriously so warm. Um, I really enjoyed it. It was super warm, super comfortable. Um, and yeah, so it actually packs down pretty small for being such a big bag. Um, so I'm going to take it out and kind of show you a little bit more about it. Um, so this is a compression sack so that it can kind of shrink down in size. All right. So this is the bag. Um, and the, some cool features about this is it has a waterproof foot box because, you know, your feet usually get, are usually wet because they're up against the tent or whatever. Um, so the um, foot box keeps your feet dry um, and which is really good with down because when down gets wet, it's still warm, but it um, 
doesn't work as great. Um, and then the next good cool feature about these is that it is a mummy bag, so you can kind of zip yourself fully into it. Um, and it has this kind of like, I don't know, I want to call it like a neck gaiter um, that you can um, Velcro so that it like comes around your neck and keeps you nice and warm and toasty. And then you have a nice hood here. Um, so that's kind of just a fun thing. And then there is kind of some pull cords to make it pull around you a little bit tighter um, and things like that if you want to cinch it down. Um, and then this bag also has gills um, and these open from both the outside and um, there is a zipper on the inside here. Um, and this allows you to regulate some airflow kind of coming into your bag. Um, so Nemo advertises that you can use this bag up to 40 degrees. If I'm being completely honest, if I was going in weather where it's going to be 40 degrees, this is not the bag I'm taking. Um, I'm going to be taking my other Nemo bag, um, which is rated for 20 degrees. Um, so while we're talking about ratings, um, just kind of a general note is when bags are rated, so this one is rated to negative 20 degrees, that is not where I'm going to be warm and comfortable. Um, that is where I'm going to survive. Like it's gonna radiate enough heat back at me that I will survive and not comfortably survive. Like I will just like bare minimumly be able to function. Um, and so I don't have any plans to be in anywhere colder than that. Um, and on this trip, the weather was like in the like high single digits and like low teens at night. Um, and this bag was perfect. Um, I did have the gills shut. They were inside my bivy, which also um, kind of like a rain jacket or like a ski shell um, is going to keep you kind of warm. Um, so it was perfect. Um, nice and warm. Um, yeah, and I really like them. The other kind of cool feature is they have this zipper pocket here. So you can throw your cell phone in here um, or like other things that you need to keep warm. Um, I... I am also not a terribly big person, um, so this is a regular size bag, so I had a lot of extra room in here. Um, so what I also did is I kept like all my clothes in here for the next day and my water bottles so none of those things would freeze. Um, and then in my bivy, which is like above my head, um, I would keep all of my extra like things that I needed like near me that could be cold but I didn't want to freeze or I wanted easy access to. Um, so yeah. Um, so to recap, this is my Sonic negative 20 degree sleeping bag, super great. Um, and then I had also my Nemo switchback foam insulating pad, my outdoor research Alpine Ascent Bivy, and my REI air pad. Um, this was the perfect system for what I wanted. Um, Derek used a pretty similar system, um, some slightly different things in there, um, but very similar. So now I'm going to show you how I set up my sleep system. So we start with rolling out our bivy and trying to find the location where we put the pole in and sliding the pole all the way through. Um, sometimes it gets stuck on the other end, so you kind of have to shimmy it through. Um, then we put it out, unzip it. It also has this great bug net so that you can use that on a nice night when you don't want to be all zipped in. Next, we stuff our foam pad in. I kind of do it like I'm putting on tights. Then we open up our um, inflatable pad, lay it out, make sure I use the right connecting piece, and we blow and fill it up with air. And we do that a few times. All right, and there we go. And then we stuff that in just like we did before. Pull it all the way through. All right, make sure it's all set up. And then lastly, we stuff in our sleeping bag. Then you can crawl right in and curl up for a good night's rest. Um, yeah, it was nice and warm and cozy. And I highly recommend um, all four of these products. And I will link most of them below as long as I can find the links.